Sarah from the Old Farmer's Almanac. If you're like me, you have a lot of zucchini at the end of the gardening season and you're not really sure what to do with it. Well, I'm going to show you a different way to use it. We're going to put it in pizza. And I'm not talking about putting it on top of your pizza. We're going to put it right in the crust. Great way to hide it from the kids. So I had three medium zucchini. I grated them up and then I sprinkled salt on them, about a teaspoon. Let it sit for half an hour. It drained all the extra moisture out. Then I dried it even more in a paper towel. And here's my finished product. We're going to add two eggs. I'm going to beat them before I put them in. Now we're just going to add some flour. Two kinds of cheeses, Parmesan and mozzarella. Who doesn't love cheese? I have some fresh basil. You can use dried. It doesn't matter. Whatever you have. A little bit of salt and pepper. And I'm going to make this up into a dough. There we go, my dough is all mixed together. I've got an oven preheated at 350 degrees and a already treated with non-stick cooking spray pizza pan. I'm just going to spread it out as even as possible. Okay, I've got it spread out pretty even and now I'm going to put it in the oven for 20 to 25 minutes. We got our pizza shell out of the oven. After it cooked for 25 minutes, I put it under the broiler for 5 minutes just to get it nice and golden brown on the top and firmer to hold your toppings. I have some fire roasted red tomato sauce that I had hanging around. I'm going to use that. Probably not the whole thing. We'll do it bit by bit. You can use any kind of topping you want. You could use Alfredo sauce. You could use garlic and olive oil. Or I've had a pizza with sweet potato puree as the base. It was fantastic. Um, now we're just going to put some cheese on. What's a pizza without cheese? And I like lots of cheese. And I had a particularly good pepper season in my garden, so I've got some red and green peppers. Anything you've got, if fresh tomatoes would be wonderful. You could use hot peppers or sweet peppers like we're using. Mushrooms, onions, whatever you have. And just make it look real pretty. And then I'm going to put a little more cheese on top because you can't have much, too much cheese. I'm going to put it back in the oven, still at 350, for 10-15 minutes until the cheese is all bubbly and toasted. After 15 minutes, my pizza was looking perfect and golden brown, so I took it out of the oven. Then I let it cool off so I could cut it into slices. I got myself a beautiful looking one right here. And remember, never say no to zucchini. There's so much you can do with it. For this recipe and a whole lot more, go to almanac.com. Mm.